Hello, Easter Seal students. I hope that you are doing well. Well, today we have another at home PE class. And today we have the last sequence of learning how to play tennis. After tennis, we did table tennis. And today we are going to finish with ping pong. So it's a nice sequence from tennis, table tennis to ping pong. The last time we used an adaptation like this, it's four fingers, we're gonna put a finger in here, and you're gonna put a finger in there. That's, we can play ping pong like this. This is an adaptation, okay? Backhand, front, and forehand, okay? Forehand, center, and backhand for drive, okay? Today we're gonna to learn a new way. And some people put both fingers like this even, okay? And some people like the index finger just a little higher than the thumb. I like this way, why? Because it's, it allows me to, to release it, my wrist a lot more. See that? My wrist a lot more. Okay, so the first thing we're going to do before we start our session, we're gonna do a small warm up. But this time we're gonna make it related. We're gonna use the we're gonna use this, okay, to make sure that we warm up. So we're gonna use the torso twist first to warm up, okay? So we're gonna use a torso twist. Look, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Not as one thing. I'm warming up as I'm going to use my technique. That means that I'm not I'm not doing this I'm not doing this like tennis okay differently today I'm using my whole shoulder look one two three four this is a torso twist look remember torso twist is this that we we do in school okay so we're using a torso twist but we're just tapping look and then we drop in the shoulder look we drop in the shoulder just a little bit to come up. Okay, let's use the other side. Same thing. Okay, one, one longer. Okay. And we're going to drop. And one, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. Let's do one more set. One, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. Okay, right now we're gonna do raise hand. Okay, we're gonna go, actually I'm gonna switch it to bench press. One, two, so see, we're gonna bench press to go forward, look, when the ball comes to the center, you're just gonna go, look. You're gonna use bench press, look. So these are exercises that you can do to improve your technique, look. Beautiful, they use the other side. Right, ready, you're gonna go, okay. If you are lefty, of course, you're gonna do this. Beautiful, that's a great warm up. All right, right now I'm just gonna use the last one, okay? To warm up, I'm gonna go like this, look. Whole body, torso twist. Look, one foot is in front, and one look is, this one is in front, and the other one is behind, look. And I'm torso twisting, I'm not doing this, I'm torso twisting to push the ball. Okay, I'm gonna do the same thing. Okay, in the other side, I'm sideways. So this is the technique that you're using to play. Beautiful, let's stretch. Close arm, beautiful, all well done.
Exhale and back. Push it back. Going to use the torso twist. This time, because we use the wrist, going to be stretching this area here. Is this one on the in the bottom? Is this one? Switch it. One more. Excellent. Gonna do some shoulder shrinking. Excellent. Some shoulder rotations. Make sure that our shoulders are warm, warm properly. Backwards. And we're just gonna do them smaller. Let's squeeze in. Because another time you're gonna squeeze in, look. You're gonna squeeze in. You're squeezing in, look. Squeezing in to get it out. You, you're not that, you squeeze in, okay? So we're doing squeezing back and forth. Excellent. I think we're ready. Are you ready for this? Okay, the first thing we're going to understand is mechanics of positioning. I'm here, okay? And when I go sideways, I'm here to start, right? And I, and I start in here. Let's start with where we started. So I'm here. When I drop, and when I turn, I'm gonna drop my right foot, and I'm gonna, I'm gonna come up, okay? Ball is on the center, bosom, for back hand, and same thing. Shoulder in, we're not snapping with shoulder in, okay? And in here we're using the bench press. In this one we're using which one? Torso twist. On the back hand we're using, you forget, the torso twist. Excellent. Okay, let's start. Now I'm gonna start with two kinds of balls. We're gonna work with two kinds of balls. One, that jumps, you can see this one, look, it's, it's, a, it's a jumping one, look, this one jumps to here, look, this one, look, look, this one doesn't jump, jumps to here, look, so we're going to call this one intermediate and this is going to be the high one, okay, middle and high, okay. Middle because we understand it just goes to the middle, okay? Halfway, let's call it halfway or in high. High and halfway or middle way. So let's call it middle way because it's a word that is, it can stay on your mind. Oh, I'm using the, I'm not using the bump one yet. I'm gonna use the one that does not jump, okay? And, the, and I chose this one because it allows me to have more time and work on my technique. So the first thing I'm going to do, I'm gonna work on my technique, on, my, on dropping my shoulder for my forehand drive. To start, okay, I'm gonna make sure that I'm sideways and I'm gonna send with, with, a, with a torso twist drop. I'm still, I'm still working, I'm still using naturally this one because it's easier but remember we did that one on the last time the one that we're doing today is this one we are grasping the index is deeper and this one is one here what the what the index does is gives you more support okay it gives you more support look if you put it in here okay they both even so they both supporting it's kind of harder for me I like this one that is easier for me because this one is supporting a lot more. And then what, what this kind of grasping does, it allows, look, look. It allows your wrist, your wrist to be a lot more flexible. Let's start, let's start serving. I'm here, right, I'm here. And as soon as I'm gonna send it, 
as soon as I'm gonna send it, remember to squat down and use, okay? Ready, set, and go. I'm gonna face it. I'm gonna push using my torso. The strain technique again. Let's try one more time. Just adjust to it because since since the table is a lot shorter, the ball is gonna come to you faster. Even though that is a ball that, that travels slower, still comes to you in a way that when you hit it, you're still here and it, it, don't, it doesn't allow you time to go back for the number one. So your mouth line is gonna be this short, okay? So just adjust it. If, you, if you'll be farther, let's say like to here, look, by the time the ball comes back, you have time to adjust, to adjust more, but because we here closer, we are, the ball is gonna come a lot faster, even though that is slower. So let's try one more set with this one. Remember, you're gonna go. When you set, you have to be here, because if the ball comes this way, then you have to drive for the backhand. And if it's on the center, one, Two, three, okay. Let's go, let's try to do three of them. Oh. Let's try one more. One, two, three, four, five. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. That was good. That was ten. Let's try. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So there I'm doing semi. I'm dropping. Good. That's a, this is a good sequence. That was a very good sequence. Very good sequence. Last sequence. Then I'm going to do one more. Bend down and get closer to the ball. Don't need to push it. Push it, don't hit it. Excellent. Okay, beautiful. Now we're going to use the one that travels fast. Okay, let's see. I hope that I can have enough time to adjust for my drop, my reaction, and my backhand drive. Okay, let's start. Are you ready? Remember, we started with tennis and table tennis, okay? And then we're doing ping pong with two levels, a fast ball and a slower ball. Ready? Oh, oh, oh. See, that was quick. Let's try one more set. One, two. My aim is to do 12. If I do 12 and using a little bit of technique because of the speed of the ball, coach is gonna be really happy. So let's try. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Ah, seven only. I was very close. But no pressure. I got two more balls in which complete 12 touches. Ready. You ready? Let's go. We can do this. One, two, three, four. Oh, no, coach. No. Let me get that ball. Got it. And let's try one more time. Come on. Ready. Technique. Shoulder. Front. Driving left foot. Excellent. Let's go. One, two, three, four, five, six. Ah! No pressure. This is the last one. 
I need to do 12. I set my heart to get 12. One, two, three. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, seventeen. Oh, seventeen. You know what? I'm gonna try to see if I can do 12, 12 more. You ready? Let's remember, let's review. Set, come back, four. Ready, set, this is right. We're dropping, chest press, and torso twist. Ready, torso twist, set, go. One, bench press, torso twist. Also twist, also twist, beautiful. So I'm working on my technique on the last one. But let me pick them up because I really want to do it. Brief. Last opportunity. Ready. Set on the chest. Go. Excellent. Back hand. Oh, I missed that one. And what? Let me see something. My glasses might be affecting me the perception of the ball. So let's see if it was the glasses. Remember, you're grasping like this, right? And on my back, it's going to be like this. So it's important technique. Why? Because before you actually become a professional, a player that wants to compete, like with another kind of players, like more seriously, Right now, this is the first step. First step is like ping pong for beginners, but it allows you to have a great idea to how to get things done. Technique before anything else. If you work on your technique, most likely the repetition on your muscles, okay, is going to give you the fine motor skills, okay, the gross motor skills, okay, big muscle and small muscle skills to do the technique. I enjoy, thank you very much. Before we go, let's just stretch our muscles that we just work with. Make sure that our body is always taking care. Torso twist. Remember your body is the equipment in which you play, you don't take care, then your body is not ready to work for you. Thank you very much, it's to see students. Hope that ping pong is something that is on your heart, it is on mine, I love to play. I, I, learned, I love the idea of learning how to exit good properly. Right now, I did enjoy. I was expecting that I would learn more and more and play more, and I did. So I hope that you take this time and this session to improve yourself. I'll see you around. See you guys.